With Hyunkel's help, Dai and the others escape the erupting volcano and link up with Batik in one piece. With the party's first order of business being to locate Princess Leona, on Batik's advice, they opted to light a signal flare found inside the temple's storehouse. Keen to try out a new move of his, Dai unwittingly set off all the signal flares in dramatic fashion. Nevertheless, it was enough for Amy of the Papnica Troika to locate the group. According to her, Leona yet lived and had made Valja Island her base, waiting for a chance to launch a counterattack. Relieved to hear the good news, Dai was anxious to see the princess. Meanwhile, the Dark Army's forces drew near Leona's encampment. Have patience. We just need to hold out for a little bit longer. I know in my heart that the hero's on his way to save everyone. You mean the young man you're always speaking of? The one called Dai? Then, do you think the boy will actually come? We're running out of time. Let's believe that he will. At the very least, the princess believes. And if the princess believes in him, then so too should all of us. <laughs> That's a pipe dream right there. The hero and company are at the bottom of a pool of lava. Who's there? I am Blizzblaze General Flazard. Too bad I ain't your hero, little princess, but you'll join him soon. Dark Army! Curse you! <laughs> One was burned, and the other was frozen. Be careful! He can control both fire and ice! The temperature difference, that rapid shift from the heat of the fire to ice, must have weakened their armor. Oh, looks like we got at least one guy with some brains here. I am Sir Apollo of the Papnica Troika. Stand down! Lady Marin, ready! We shall both protect Princess Leona with our lives! Marin, you try and hit the fire side of him with a crack spell. I'll do something about the other half. Here goes! Capriz! <laughs> goody, goody! Giving me a beast as a welcome, are you? No, stop! He's somehow absorbing the energy of both of your spells! Right back at ya! Insulator! Insulator? Well, it turns out that your Troika title ain't just for show, is it now? No matter how strong your fire or ice type spells, you cannot pierce this defensive shield. Yeah, okay. I get it. Then out of respect for your heroic performance, let me show you a neat trick I recently picked up. K. A. F. My finger flare! Ah! He fired five Kafir spells at once. He's unbelievably powerful. <laughs> Apollo, please, let me heal you. You menace. How could you do that to Marin? Don't make me laugh. It's a battlefield. It doesn't matter who you are. Here the strong survive, and the weak ones die! If you don't want pain, then stay off the battlefield. Princess, wouldn't you agree? I'll bet your majesty is even prepared to go the same way her puny little kingdom did. <laughs> well, so much for the Patnica kingdom. When 
the survivors hear of your demise, they'll lose all hope. And I'm sure they'll never consider going up against the Dark Army again. Don't assume humans are anything like you monsters. There will always be someone. Someone who'll stand up against a villain like you. So long as humanity has its pride. Huh. That's some courage there. Right when you're about to die. Bye-bye, Princess. Go act up on your way to the afterlife! Uh, wait. That knife! It's Dai! No way. You're still alive? Get away from Leona! If you even touch her, you're gonna regret it! Get him, Dai. Regret it, huh? Rotten little kid. Just try to hurt me! I dare you! Yeah! <laughs> 
damn it! So, I was right. In his battles with the other Legion commanders, this little brat's combat skills have leveled up an unbelievable amount. This might be the time for it. My trump card. Nai, are you okay? Hey guys, we need to help everyone. <laughs> oh, I get it. You're a much bigger fish than that little princess, aren't you, kid? Your head is mine! Everybody, get down! Please It'll take more than that to beat us. <laughs> How brave. But you've already lost the battle. You see, that little move wasn't just an attack. It was a signal to all of my servants waiting down below to begin an infernal battle. What's that? What in the world? <laughs> the Dark Flame's fire is complete! Showtime! Let's get on with the entertainment, shall we now? the Blizzblaze curse field. It's the ultimate tactic that's made my Blizzblaze Legion unbeatable. You're all out of options now. All you can do is scramble around until all of you are slaughtered. No way, buddy. You are not going to finish us off, especially with a puny earthquake like that. Then show me your worst. Fine. Cry and beg all you like, but you're done for. Huh? What's this? What's going on? My spell. I can't cast Sis. Did he nullify our magic? I guess it's time I explain the rules, huh? Uh! Ah! It's like my strength is gone. Come here. What's going on here? The power of his attack! It's even stronger than before! Oh, that's not it. I haven't gotten stronger. So, what could it be then? Maybe you've all gotten weaker. <laughs> that dark flame spire, and that dark ice spire influence the core inside my body. And they're covering this entire island with a field that increases my magic power. Within this field, everyone but yours truly is weakened and can't use magic. So, as long as he's on the island, this kid is weaker than a mere human. Stop it! Looks like you finally understand. That's cheating, Flazard! You can't even fight fair and square, you coward! Spare me the lecture. And besides, it's not the fighting I like. What I like... is the winning! Victory! Here I come! It's no good! 
but even my magic bullet gun doesn't work. Lady Amy, is your sister going to be all right? She's still alive, but my heal spells don't work. At this rate, Marin, Apollo, and the others won't make it. about no way i am not going to lose not to him if we survive we haven't lost but he he'll wipe us out if we stay here <laughs> i'll give you a choice now here are your options frozen or burnt to a crisp no ma'am we cannot run away i am not running what you bet you aren't I just put up the field here. It wouldn't do running away so soon. Let's make it so you don't even think about running away. You don't want pain, then stay off the battlefield. I see you have returned. Now, as for your accomplishments... forbidden magic to freeze her. That means no blow can shatter the ice and no spell can melt it. So, what are you supposed to do? You have to beat me, kill me, and the ice will melt for sure. Now then, do you still want to run? You can't abandon your princess and flee like a rat, can you, champ? It's hard being a hero, huh? <laughs> 
<laughs> there you go. Just like that. Come and meet your fate. Hop, help Lady Amy and get everyone to the balloon ship. We're running? Look around us. We can't win. Just trust me. We have to get out of here and wait for the right opportunity. Ah, oh, quite impressive. You've still got that much strength in you. In this field of mine, the strength of my enemies becomes one-fifth of what it usually is. And I've got to admit, if that attack were five times stronger, talk about scary. <laughs> However... In here, I'm afraid a fatal wound will be impossible for you. Die! We have to escape! No, I'm not leaving! You saw yourself what he did to the princess! So long as you can still fight, he's not going to hurt Leona. We need to get away. We need a plan. No! I... I... I'm fighting to the end! What do you think you're doing? that explosion back there a bullet from my magic bullet gun i threw one with a sis spell in it when flazard tried to attack his kafriz set it off let's head north there's a rocky coast where we should be able to hide dancing flame army of the dark blade spire knock them out of the sky don't let them escape Normally, I feel like running the moment things get dangerous, but for some reason, I didn't this time. I just wish I could have done something to save the princess. I'm sorry, but... If you hadn't done what you did, ma'am, by now, I'd say we'd all be history. Everyone! They're coming! Oh, man! Get us out of here, old man! Okay, we're finally out of the field. We can use magic again. Crackle! It doesn't matter. There's too many! We're gonna crash into the whirlpool! Hey! Get us closer to shore! The party hastily fled from the battle with Flazard, only for their balloon ship to plummet after being attacked by his minions. However, a mysterious spell drove the minions away, allowing them to safely make an emergency landing on the opposite shore. Following after their mysterious rescuer, they found it was Grand Sorcerer Matterev, an acquaintance of Mam who once served Avon. The party hoped to make use of his extensive knowledge to rescue the frozen Leona. Unfortunately, Matterev refused to aid them due to being badgered by Papnica's officials in the past. 
Nevertheless, Dai, having reawakened, desperately tried to persuade him, reminding Madarov of Avon's own determination. Upon hearing of his former comrade's death, in the end, Madarov decided to help the party, who sought to avenge the fallen hero. He advised them to destroy the two spires, as it was the only way to rid the island of the Blizzblaze curse field besieging it. Batik then set about creating bombs in order to bring the spires down, using materials found in Madarov's residence. Pop, on the other hand, felt such effort was hardly necessary, muttering that he could easily destroy them with magic. In response to Pop's arrogance, Madarov took it upon himself to train the young mage, lest he get killed on the return trip. With no time to spare, he cast Zoom to whisk Pop away to commence his dangerous, if not reckless, super hard course training regimen. What did you just say, Lord Hadlar? A full-on assault, Zabora. They'll surely make an attempt to destroy the Dark Flame and Dark Ice Spires before too long, will they not? And when they do, they'll split up their forces. So we will gather all of our armies, then wipe out Dai and his companions. But Flazard will complain about not being able to take all the credit for it. Flazard is a monster that I created using legendary forbidden magic. In a way, Flazard is my son. He won't disobey my orders. Intriguing. At last, my Dragon Legion will be able to play a role in this task. Not yet, Baran. I have another assignment more suited to your skills. Our friend Mistvern has been laying siege to the Karl Kingdom, but their forces are proving to be more resilient than we thought. I'd like for you to go take them down yourself, Knight. You have already asked us to gather all of our forces here. Defeating the hero is our priority. Is that not why the six Legion commanders were summoned in the first place, Hadlar? Or is there some other reason you don't want me to face this supposedly important boy, Dai? Talk all you want, Baran, but the order still stands. Hm. Very well then. I will follow your orders this time, Dark Commander. Now. I'm off to the Carl Kingdom. What is it about Baran that makes Lord Hadlar treat him so? Not even Baran can overthrow the Carl Kingdom that easily, but we must rid ourselves of Die before he does. Ah! Oh! oh, sorry, Die. We should stop for now. You still haven't fully healed, and you're pushing yourself too hard. But I'm fine. I can't just rest when Pop is out there training so hard. Besides, Matter of said this practice would help me fight Flazard, and I'm not gonna lose to him again. I'll never forgive that monster! Just when I finally found Leona! I'm going to defeat him, and I'm going to rescue her no matter what it takes! I've never seen Dai so emotional before. Princess Leona must really be important to him. All right then. Let's keep going. Please, no more! A truly pathetic display. We've spent the whole day together and your magic power has barely increased. You should be deeply ashamed that a hundred-year-old like me beat a youngster like you. Well, I guess that's all for today. I'm heading back to my cave in Patnica. You'll have to use your own Zoom spell to get there. What? But there's no way I can do that without help! But it's easy. You flew from the river to the shore by using your magic power, isn't that right? If you have a clear image of your destination in mind, then Zoom is a piece of cake. But from the river to shore is totally different than from here to Papnica. Besides, even if I do learn Zoom, it's still useless in battle. Wise up, weakling! 
Use magic to aid your companions. Don't use it to lead them into battle. A deep knowledge of spells is necessary. Get that through your head because this is what a mage is meant to do. Don't you see if you had used Zoom back there, you could have rescued your companions from that burning balloon ship entirely on your own. If you can't clear a challenge this easy, you'll only drag everyone else down with you. Even if you do join the fight, you're just going to end up dead. You can wander around the dark forest for eternity. No, wait, wait! Huh? Oh, come on! Well, it looks like you're making progress. Matter if... Once you cut through the unseen, you'll feel the difference. Your blade will become three or even five times more powerful yet. So then, keep it up. Wait, where's Pop? Him? He's dead in the woods somewhere. Huh? And what a pampered little whiner that boy was. His type never try unless you make him desperate. That's why I left him over on the other side of the world. Avan was always too soft of a teacher for his own good. He couldn't train a crybaby like that pop. What he needs is my kind of tough love. He'll see. Can you hear me? You little disciples of Avan! How long do you think you can hide from me, huh? You don't think your princess is safe being all frozen, do you? I hope not. Because, unfortunately, her life force is being drained as I'm speaking to you. Your princess's life ends tomorrow at sundown. Hurry on back! I miss you. Leona could die? No, that is not gonna happen, Flazard! Give it my all! It is good to see you returned. Unless the party vanquished Flazard by sunset the next day, the ice encapsulating Leona would sap her life force entirely. Upon hearing the news, Dai and company wasted no time in deciding to execute a rescue operation that very night. At their disposal was a boat enchanted by Madarev they could use to reach the island, albeit with room for only four passengers. Dai, Mam, and Baddock volunteered to go. As they deliberated on the final passenger, Pop zoomed in, having mastered the spell. Satisfied with Pop's progress, Madarov allowed his student to board. Together with Gomachan, the four set off for Valja Island. After they arrived, the party split. Dai and Baddock headed to the Dark Flame Spire, while Pop and Mam ventured to the Dark Ice Spire. Agreeing to reunite at Valja Tower once the Curse Field was no more, they each departed for the battles awaiting them.
It looks like there are guards here after all. Let's get them! Ah! A Vaughn-style sword technique? Wait, Slash! <laughs> Run! <laughs> Baddock, let's do it! Right! Let's give this thing a shot! If we take out this one while Pop destroys the Dark Ice Spire, Flazard's curse field should disappear. And then I can save you, Leona. Here we go! Look out! The spire. It's still standing. Who did that? Come out! Oh, where did they come from? We're surrounded. These are not Blazard soldiers. Was this a trap? <laughs> I am the commander of the Mystic Legion Zabora, and this is Mistburn, commander of the Shadow Legion. We knew you and your party would split up to destroy the spires, and it seems we were correct. And now we have the perfect opportunity to wipe out you pesky gnats once and for all. Then, Pop and Ma'am, not even a hero can handle this many enemies at once. Whether you fear the Dark Army or not, you will lose tonight. Very well. And once again, it's time for Baddock the Swordsman to use the Paptica Single Blade style. Oh! Focus on fighting off the mages! They're weak if you don't give them a chance to use a spell! Right, I'm on it! There's just too many of them. In that case... Avon? Ah! He floats like a ghost, but he's so strong! Who... Is he? There's just too many of them! <laughs> I am the legendary mystic Bishop Zabora! The flies are headed straight for the spider's web. Ah, here Such a pathetic struggle. 
that it? I'm just getting started! Not with your strength, child. This... this is... Dark Puppetry Aura Hand? Ugh, but I... I thought that was Hyoko's unique skill! Junko may have learned his sword skills from Avan, but he learned how to manipulate the Dark Aura from Commander Mistburn here. The fact is, our friend Mistburn is the originator of that skill. I... I can't move! Die! Whoops! You aren't going anywhere, you weak old goat! I won't stand by and let some ancient gremlin call me an old goat! What a pain it is having to deal with fossils like you, swordsman! Let the words of the dead carry you to eternity. Thwack! What is this creepy voice I hear? It is the dead beckoning to you from the netherworld. When you succumb to them, your life ends.
Your guard down. Looks like we've stumbled into a trap. This isn't good. Do you think Dai and Badak? We have to focus on the mission at hand, right? We gotta defeat... <laughs> so Dai is at the Dark Flame Spire. Then so be it. Either way, this is the end for the Disciples of Avan. I suppose I'll just enjoy crushing you worms. It can't be... That voice, that voice is one that I'll never forget! Hadlar, the Dark Commander! So he, he's the one who took Master Avon. He did, but I did not expect the Dark Commander himself to show his ugly mug. <laughs> I thought I should personally come and see you annoying humans defeated at last. Oh, yeah? Don't assume everything's just gonna go as planned, Hadlar! You're that little mage who was there that day when I defeated the hero of Ahn. That's right! I'm one of his students! <laughs> how hilarious! No, how very pathetic! The scrawny little student desperately fought all this way to avenge his precious master. Only to end up on this island facing a pitiful end. Well, I might lose, but I'm not going down this time without a fight. And after what you did to our master, Avon, you're gonna pay for it! That's right, so mark my words. You will never be forgiven for what you did! And who are you? I'm a student of Avon, too. A disciple! It seems as if you had the wrong idea about me, disciple. I'm not really the one that took Avon's life. Kindness! That animal instinct kindness was his undoing! Are you? Bam, no! He's powerful in hand-to-hand, -hand too! <laughs> I'll make this quick. quick. Looks like we've stumbled into a trap. <laughs> <laughs> 
This isn't good. Do you think Dai and Badak? We have to focus on the mission at hand, right? We gotta defeat. <laughs> <laughs> so Dai is at the Dark Flame Spire. Then so be it. Either way, this is the end for the disciples of Amon. I suppose I'll just enjoy crushing you worms. It can't be. I'll enjoy crushing you worms. I'm gonna pummel you. Nice cool off. than last time but how as a reward for defeating Avan, the dark king granted me a new body allowing me an even greater power in close combat spells and everything else so now i have more strength than when i defeated the pathetic hero Avan. as you can see this time around you have no hope for victory. And your friend Dai has been pummeled by the Mystic and Shadow Legions and is already gone. It's no good. We can't. We can't beat him. Maybe if it was just Flazard, but with Hadlar and the other Legions here, it's, it's all over. You will learn your lesson. In my fearsome inferno! Huh? That's right. I... I can't just give up. If I give up, then who's going to protect her? I... have to protect ma'am. And I have to help die! You're both going to burn! Sizzle! I can't give up. Not until the very end! Here goes! What? No! I just cast Sizzle? Possible. How could that weakling mage's spell overpower my own? That was my chance while they're distracted. What can I use? This will work. Did it, <sighs> ma'am? Did you see that? Pop, that was amazing. I can't believe you really cast Sizzle. Right? Me too. I wasn't even thinking. It's all thanks to my mentor. It was just one day of training with Matteriv, but it feels like my attack spells have already increased in power. Thank you, mentor. We can deal with the Dark Ice Spire later. Let's go help Dai and Batik. What a surprise. Amazing how that insolent human has grown. <gasps> but now, observe and understand. There is always going to be a bigger force. Isn't it 
something. That's the sound of Lord Hadler using his most powerful spell, Kaziz. Hadlar's here? The Dark Ice Spire is being guarded by Lord Hadlar himself, along with his legion of minions. <laughs> Futile! Pure futility! No one can break free from Mistburn's dark puppetry order hand. Yes! Just you and your useless struggle! You've merely prolonged your inevitable doom! All of you, attack! <laughs> Who did that? Who would dare go against Zamora? I would. Crocodile! It's you! First you disappear without a trace, then you show up and drop a boulder on us! What is the meaning of this? I'm helping the disciples of Avon! I couldn't just stand by and watch your attempt at a cowardly little ambush! You're mad! All of you! Ignore the others and take care of this traitor first! You're joking, must be. Because no one in the Dark Army can defeat the Beast King! <laughs> You're really alive! That's right! Hop and Mam are in danger! It's Hadlar! Fear not! A mighty ally is headed for the Dark Ice Spire, and he's even more powerful than I am! It's not the fighting I like. What I like is the winning! You know, I recently recalled... They still remain. I did hold back so I wouldn't damage the Dark Eye Spire. She's still breathing. I should finish her off just in case. Uh, wait. You survived as well. Don't worry. You'll both meet again in the next realm. Please, I don't. 
I don't care what happens to me. Just, just please, let her go. I'll take her place. <laughs> I see. You're in love with this girl, aren't you? Oh, this is just perfect. Knowing that, I can't possibly let her live. <gasps> You've scarred my body, you weak, worthless little worm. So now I'm going to make you watch while I take away the girl you love. This is the most fitting punishment for you, boy. I'll leave her on top of the dark ice spire where everyone will be able to see. You can't! Please don't please! No! Mom! What? The Dark Eye Spire destroyed? To me, boy, how were you not destroyed along with the underground palace? You're right, I shouldn't be here. But right then, in my final moments, I was saved by a great warrior. So you survived, Crocodine. <laughs> My steel hide can withstand just about anything. Plus, this Garuda here saved me at the last second. But I was the one who tried to kill you. Why did you save me? It was a soldier's mercy when you ordered them to treat my wounds. Mercy must be repaid in kind, that's why. Besides, from now on, you must continue to help Dai and his friends. If mercy was really your intent, then you should have just left me to my death. I had refused to face my own weaknesses and turned my hate for Avon into a hatred for all of humanity. Maybe I would have paid the price for some of my crimes, but because I live, this shame will continue to be with me for all my days. The uncle. I believe that the worth of a man lies in how much they are able to let go of the past, no matter how painful it may be. Be it a life in shame, and reviled by all you know, so long as you walk a path that you believe in, is that not enough? <laughs> the Garuda tells me Dai and his friends have headed north, probably to Valja Island. I'm going to go help them. It's the least I can do after they've reminded me of a warrior's honor. What? You're right, Beast King. My crimes are too great. My demise won't absolve me of them. You and them, you were the first to ever shed real tears for me. In order to repay those tears, I must... I must... I must fight for the hero and his friends! Wait, it can't be! The Dark Armor Blade, it was lost in the fall of the Underground Palace. How is it here? And it's been completely repaired as well. They say a true weapon chooses its wielder. Perhaps this Dark Blade was restored and drawn here by the power of your renewed aura. It's 
it. So long as you have the will to fight, this armor shall always find you. Unbelievable! I never trusted you, but for Crocodile to betray our forces as well. You'll believe it when you hear him destroy the Dark Flame Spire. Can you stand? You head to Valja Tower with Pop and meet up with Dai. You just leave this battle to me. Yes, but you... Well, okay then. Thanks, pal. Good luck. Pop, what are you doing? Forget him. He said to go, so let's go. Like I'd let him touch you a second longer. All traitors must suffer death. That's the law of the Dark Army. I'm going to make yours slow and painful. I must stay focused. To battle! I'll fight to the end! I see you have returned. Now, as for... I must stay focused. These monsters aren't even worth my time. If you want to kill me, do it by risking your own life, you coward. You, you brat! Here goes. 
Unbelievable! I never trusted you, but for Crocodile to betray our forces as well. You'll believe it when you hear him destroy the Dark Flame Spire. All traitors must suffer death. That's the law of the Dark Army. I'm going to make yours slow and painful. I'm gonna pummel you! Death <laughs> to the weak. Sizzle! Take this! Sizzle! <laughs> Take more than that to stop me! Fast. I'll slice you into 
dark puppetry aura. How could this be? Could have been worse. Astounding attack! But if you ask me, Anguish Blast might sound a little too ominous now. How about something like Beast King Redemption Blast? <laughs> Not half bad! Thank you, old man. The spires have fallen, so now it's your turn. I am no longer worthy to call Avon Master, so I can't claim to avenge my master. For taking the life of my father, Bartos the Knight, I cannot allow you to live any longer. You snotty whelp! Watch your tongue! Like father, like son, you both defy me! Be gone! Have you forgotten? My armor will repel any magical attack that you could possibly conjure. Prepare yourself. Handler! Hey, I feel lighter. The curse field is gone! Die! It was Yunkle. He showed up and saved us. That's great! So Yunkle's a disciple of Avon after all. We should get going. Leona needs us. Be careful, Yunkle. He's stronger than I imagined. No wonder the Dark King likes him. And without my spells, I'm at a disadvantage. If I could do something about that armor, I see. He's coming for the final showdown. Bloody Scride! That was a disappointing fight. It's over, Hadlar. It can't be. No one could survive an attack like that! Unlike you, I have a heart on each side of my chest. I only needed you to lower your blade. Now, with your armor damaged, I'm going to fill it with pure hellfire! Caprice! Ah! Curse you and your dirty tricks! I can't move my body! So much for your mighty sword, then. While I, I still have my secret weapon! Now watch as I unleash the full power of my greatest spell! Can your punctured armor withstand it? Now take this, Cassis! <laughs> I 
save one! You stubborn little brat! He's finally met his end. Lord Hutlaw, are you hurt? It's nothing. I merely lost one of my hearts. We're going after Ty, and we will slaughter them all. No. Die and the others are in danger. I have to stop them, but I don't have any way to fight. What can I do? What weapon can I use? Life itself. Life energy. Basically, it's your aura. <sighs> How did you do that? I just focused my whole aura. As a warrior, you cannot cast most spells. If your sword is ever lost, the only weapon you're gonna have left is life itself. If you find yourself in such a situation, you'll have to fight with your aura. But remember that the aura is an offensive life energy and it'll be very difficult to control it. If your heart is full of malice, it can put your own life at risk the same way it does with your opponents. I don't need that kind of skill. All I have to do is defeat my enemy with my sword, isn't that right? Back then, I laughed at Avon's teachings, but now I understand. Now I know why he taught me. It's almost impressive how stubborn the students of Avon can be. What is that? An extreme amount of energy is gathering at his forehead. Wait, is this his aura? If it means stopping Hadlar here, then I'll gladly use all of my life. Havan, my master, give this ungrateful student his final strength! No! Get away! Grand Cr 